eterna e o direito de comer da árvore, do fruto da árvore da vida, somente nele, exalte o nome dele, glorifique a ele, estamos aqui para isso. How good it is to exalt his name. This church irradiates beams of the power of God. When I come up the climb to the pulpit here, I, I don't want to go down. Just by climbing to the pulpit, I already have received my blessing. The Lord inhabit in the midst of the praises. It's good to feel this. Our soul needs this. Because the praises, they, they free us up. It brings peace. Uh, praises bring fellowship. And when we speak with Jesus, the name that is above, uh, above all name, when we mention this name, uh, our body irradiates. My soul wishes to be with him because this peace is the peace that the world does not give. This is the true peace. His peace will be completed in eternity. You are my peace. Imagine. Can we say that? The song is expression of the redeemed soul. Many have already learned this on Sunday school, right? But Sunday school of the night. They learn. Pastor Matthews is teaching you. The praise is the expression of the redeemed soul. It, it never left my mind when I learned this. And it's true. We only sing what we feel. Because if I don't sing what I live, I'm singing something from the earth, earthly. We're going to speak about um, just in the fourth measure. But when we sing with sincerity, with love, with dedication. Well, this, they're preparing more songs. I'm sorry, Ronil, I'm sorry. Next time I come here, I don't play around because I'm happy with when you're here. I feel happy to be here. And when we sing, my brethren, it is wonderful. And we feel this peace. Uh, the world is being tormented. The torment uh, we are going through. Let's have been the Lord for this blessing that we have. I've been able to sing the Lord. So let's sing my heart rejoice in the Lord a song of victory victory of God because our victory is in the power of the Lord Jesus the power that purifies delivers the forgiveness of sins blessed be the name of the Lord
Seja o nome do Senhor um Hello, blessed be the name of the Lord. A servant will be glorifying in the name of the Lord. Because we can rejoice. Hallelujah. Lord, we chose our lives, Lord. We praise the Lord for this night of peace, Lord. We praise the Lord because there is salvation in this house tonight. We glorify you for your presence in our lives. You are praise for everything in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I'd like to greet the beloved church with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'd like to invite everyone to stand up in reverence to reading the Word of God in the book of Prophet Ezekiel. Chapter 7, Ezekiel 7, verse 1 and 2. Ezekiel 7, verses 1 and 2. Glory to Jesus. Let's read. Everyone together in a loud voice. Let's read. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, And you, son of man, thus says the Lord God to the land of Israel, An end, the end has come upon the four corners of the land. Amen. The church may be seated. May the Lord bless us through his mighty and wonderful word, living word, our rule of faith and practice. My brethren, I'd like to emphasize today, I'm going to give you a little break for, to the praise group. At the end, we're going to sing a little more. My throat is getting, I would like to also, I forgot to greet the brethren who are with us through social network, YouTube, and Zoom. Valadais is watching. They sent a, a message to me saying that they're watching. My church is, is pleading for me there. They're liking. <laughs> My brother, the end is near. The end is near. I'm not going to speak a lot about is. Ezekiel, no, I'm going to speak simple things because the things of the Lord are simple. The revelation of the Lord is they are inserted in, inside of us when we meet, when we gather, when we seek the Lord. And He has taught us in school. We have seen. And this morning, the brand saw on Sunday school the seriousness. There is a picture that, that is showing of a pastor in Ukraine, the pastor that was with us, he's from Ukraine, he's in our church where the missile hit near his house and did not explode. The angels of the Lord camp around the, the ones who serve him and deliver them from any evil. Glory to God for this. This is the hand of God, it is the power of God. And it is interesting that when Pedro Diduti said this in the morning, I don't know if everyone watched, if everyone came here or if you watched online, but if you didn't watch, you can watch it again. There was a spiritual gift. I, I praise a lot for, I always speak with the brethren regarding the spiritual gifts that Apostle Paul taught us. Uh, I, he said, we don't want you to be ignorant. The spiritual gifts are the manifestation of the Lord in our midst. And when we gather there, as I said the last week, the Lord there is helping us to produce what uh, He wants for the service. It's difficult for each one who climb to the pulpit here, that will go to the pulpit down any, any spiritual gift. But no, the Lord has spoken with us. We glorify the Lord because the Lord has revealed 
His will to us. He, the Lord has guided our lives. And we are sure of this. To many who are here, the Lord has guided, guided us. That's why we are never bored with what has happened. And we are not going to be surprised or scared. But the Lord is operating a work of miracle every day. And He is preparing us because it is near. So it was said in the morning, the Lord has shown specifically to Brazil everything that was happening. But I want to go back and, and Presbytery, the spiritual gift the Lord gave in the Presbytery in Brazil. Um, I would like to say that the spiritual gift uh, that they have there, they come from the church all over the world. They are not only from the Presbytery. Sometimes it uh, has a meaning that it's for the entire world. In 2019, I don't know if, you, if the brethren remember this. It's the prophet Ezekiel was used by the Lord in a mighty way. And the Lord was expressing to him what was going to happen with Israel. And we are the spiritual Israel of God. But here, when the Lord spoke, he spoke about re rebelliousness from them. And the Lord was showing here that it was going to be the four corners of the earth. And when we read about this prophet, the Lord began to speak with him. Stand up, son of man, because I'm going to speak with you. Do not be afraid. It is interesting that the translator of this Bible, he used uh, a language that was, I'm going to speak with you. If they want to hear, okay, if they don't want it, continue speaking. Do not be afraid. It is a people that has a hardened heart. I'm going to send them, send you. But if they want to hear you, they are a rebellious house. house. And in 2019, the Lord used the pastor the DOT in a prophecy. And it is interesting, my brethren. We did not even imagine. I never forget. It was in a seminar where he said the following. My brethren, the Lord has shown dark, uh, uh, dense darkness over the world. Let's pray. The, the prayer is the key of victory. The prayer is fundamental for the life of the servant. When we pray, we have a lot of power. With little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. So the prayer is a fuel of the servant. And I remember, my brother, my beloved, that when he said, this dark, this dense darkness that is are going to come upon the world, they are going to come. And he said, shown a detail, let's pray so that it does not come. It was a reality. From so let's pray so that we, we need to pray so that we don't have... The, uh, the wife or husband wrong or the wrong job. We need to pray so that the Lord does not allow it is a prophecy needed to be said. That was the prophecy the Pastor Jeduji said when the consequence came, the devastation, the beginning of the pandemic uh, the pandemics in 2020 a tragedy that shook up the entire world. We noticed how it was. It was a test. We were being shaken so that the people of the world, the Lord, be aware that the end is coming. And the Bible says twice here, the end is coming. Thus says the Lord Jehovah, that according to the land of Israel, that the end is coming upon the four corners of the world, north, south, east, west. And now this is, there is a new revelation the Lord gave. Many are going to lose jobs. Men are going to lose houses. Men are going to lose uh, their wages. And what did he say in the morning, the prophecy in the Sunday school? When the Lord revealed to him, the Lord has shown to us, he's showing to us the, the one who is incredulous, he does not believe in this. We are going to pray because so that the Lord may turn this thing around. That's why when we see we are in this joy, we know that because the end is very near, very close. Our salvation even closer than we can even imagine. It is very close. That's when when you pick up the Bible in Thessalonians. Thessalonians five Thessalonians five verse sixteen. Actually verse fifteen, seventeen, and eighteen it says pray incessantly. Rejoice always. In everything give grace because that's the will of the Lord in Christ Jesus for you. And this one do not extinguish, allow the spirit to extinguish, and the vine. Do not dis reject the prophecies. 
do not reject the prophecies. The prophets are there speaking. The Lord is using. The Lord is showing. Let us, let us not fall in our own failures, our mistakes, because prayer goes where I cannot go. The prayer reaches the place that I cannot reach. It transposes the, the prayer of the faith. Uh, a faithful prayer is going to save the sick. The prayer of the righteous one can do much. If the Lord, uh, if that's the will of the Lord, the Lord may heal the person. Or if not, the Lord will uh, harvest that person. But we need to hear the voice of the Lord about this moment. In prayer, so f to whom? To the brethren in Russia, to the brethren in Ukraine, the brethren in Kiev. We have the pastor in the north. Samika, he's from Kiev. Where, where is he from? He is. Uh, Uzbekistan, but he know that place. He is from the same region. I remember when he was when he came into our midst. He spoke a lot about that region. There was there was many evangelization. And my brethren, we need to pray for the, these people because the desolation, what happens with war, and our people needs to pray. As I said in the past, the the calamities they have not stopped the room the wars because it's prophecy because the Lord used the prophets to speak about war rumors of war children against parents parents against children and uh, it will multiply because the iniquity will multiply the love of many will grow colder this is notorious today, and the Lord bring us, uh, brings us here today to bring joy to us, to bring comfort to us. The Lord does that to us. As I said, He brings the spiritual gift to us, not to point out to us, to accuse us, but showing the way. So he, to correct us according to His love, He exhorts us with love. Because a staff and a rod bring comfort to me. He is our shepherd. He did this when he was speaking about the sister, about the praises. She was being persecuted, but the Lord said, Do not be afraid, I am with you. The Lord also gave another speech, a gift very interesting, regarding this that we are going through. The Lord was showing a lo locomotive. It was very modern. Interesting that he came from the four corners of the earth. And the name of the train station was the eighth one. It's the time of God is coming to an end. He invited and he called, enter, enter, because it's not going to be any time. So when he closed it, there, there was a person saying, a voice saying, the time is no longer any time. It's no more, more time. So tonight is the moment for us to praise the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our being. With our uh, understand, we need to adore Him in everything, working at work, whether it's heavy and or not so hard. I need to praise with my joy. I need to praise Him with everything, preparing for this, and to speak to the ones who are near. The end is near. Interesting that Hezekiah said, "Speak with the people, Lord. The near is coming. Speak with them." Because I'm going to send them my wrath. Because the Lord takes away the, the church. So the spirits are not going to be upon this world anymore. Because the spirit is going to be taken. He's going to go back to the place where he came from. When the church is raptured, the Holy Spirit is going to be taken away. So the ones who convince men of the sin of justice. is no longer be here. He's not going to be on this earth anymore. So imagine the desperation. So interesting that. What, do you know what Pastor Jedeji said? We are living pre-tribulation. And that's true. In the morning he said, this is a pre-tribulation. The fourth trumpet is for the Lord to take us. When the last trumpet has come, with my name you are going to hear you're going to hear my name calling. Let's sing this song. 
I want to hear my name. Glory to Jesus. Bless you, my father, possessed by hands, so the kingdom is being prepared. Our name is written a white stone, and only he knows. We have a new name, which is written in the book of life, and was paid with a high price. The price of blood was the price of life. He died being, uh, being a king. When he was walking, he faltered. But as, as a king uh, in the cross, he said, Lord, may, may your will be done. This is the Jesus you're going to call upon in my name. And that's what we want when he comes upon from, come from the glory to call our name to this eternity where we are going to be with angels. We are going to be, have new lives. 
there is not going to be crying or pain or, s or tears or sadness. There's not going to be any war or any of it. Only joy, peace, and fellowship and praise. All the praise, all the honor, all the glory is going to be for him. We're going to sing for him with, with the angels. We're going to be like the angels in corruptible bodies. That's our hope. That's why when we come up here, we feel a little bit of this heaven because this body and this body circulates the blood of the Lamb. He is here present. He's no longer in the cross. He is here. He is here. He's touching on your life. He's healing you. You're going to sing the next song, but I want to speak with a couple here. They all said that you are in a situation where you don't take uh, the, the word of the Lord seriously. Don't do this. The Lord has give you, given us all the direction. Pray is a key of victory. Pray, seek the Lord. The solution of the problems of serving are prayer. Prayer with faith. Prayer with commitment. It's not uh, praying and just being, not mistrusting. May your will be done, not my will be done. That should be our prayer. And uh, there's a spiritual gift that show, shows a couple that has not believe in the Lord, but there's not trust in the Lord. But there is something interesting that when the servant of man, or when man repents, there is remission and of sin. The Bible said, if, if you confess your sins and you seek me, I'm going to heal you, I'm going to hear, hear you and heal your, your wounds. And the blood of Jesus purifies of any sin. The Lord can forgive this couple. I don't know, but the Lord knows. Don't do this. Don't don't come here and not take seriously serving the Lord. Because we are all here. We are here praising the Lord. We, we have come here. We have been called to take the kingdom of the Lord in a serious fashion. The spiritual gift as she, didn't say that you are the name of this couple, but the Lord knows. So the Lord is forgiving this coffin, giving you a new opportunity. Now I'm going to finish the service with another song. Let's sing uh, Standing Up. 